Hello, my name is David, and this is the Short Vol Show. Good morning and welcome to the Short Fall Show. My name is David and that was one of the smoothest transitions you probably have ever seen. Anyways, I didn't get that way overnight, I'll guarantee to you. Um, today we have a potential rebound for the markets after uh, Peter Navarro, a top trade advisor to the president, came out on the close yesterday to try and calm the markets. Uh, he said... Monday that investment restrictions against China and other countries are not immediately forthcoming, pushing back fears the administration was preparing widespread restrictions on companies with heavy foreign ownership. And we saw yesterday uh, the VIX kind of really go high and over uh, not all that much. So it was pretty perplexing how high it actually went yesterday. Let's take a look at the numbers here. Uh, VIX got upwards of, um, let's see, up to, of course, my setup is not right here. So then another beautiful transition for me this morning. It's like two in a row. Uh, VIX got up to, it, I believe, 1961 yesterday before backing off, uh, back down uh, below, I believe, 18 after the close. Um, and UVXY really followed suit, um, really spiking yesterday. Um, people took this as an opportunity to short it, although um, some people kind of shorted it too early, including me, I believe. Uh, and here's the chart of the VIX right there. That's the uh, that 1961 level. Let's see if I can make this a little bit smaller so you can see it better here. There's the chart of the VIX at 1961 level, and here's UVXY. So you see the big spike yesterday. Um, so not a great day for short vol folks um, because uh, stuff was way up. I think UVXY was up over 20% yesterday. And uh, today we see major indices, which are basically directly behind my head there. Let's move this over even further. Major indices up a little bit after being pretty unched uh, up until now, but they are up a little bit. We're seeing uh, UVXY currently indicated down 70 cents, while uh, TVIX currently down about $4 and change. VXX down a couple bucks as well. And the pullback... Um, has uh, has begun. We did close in backwardation slightly, although the term structure is is rapidly trying to right itself. But uh, quite the day yesterday, uh, the people that were leaning short the market or long volatility had a great day. So congrats to all you folks out there who did well. Um, coming into today, um, we're looking at. Um, Kind of an unched market, as I said. Um, the um, it was one of the biggest losses yesterday uh, in months, and the uh, the Dow Jones uh, dipped below the 200-day moving average, and um, but the Nasdaq pretty much saw the worst of it percentage-wise. Um, However, once we got to the Asian markets overnight, uh, Asian markets did not um, sell off like the U.S. markets, and uh, they actually they reversed uh, initial losses to finish slightly higher. So that is uh, encouraging news for us um, coming into today. Let's take a look at a couple websites and see what their take is on things here. Um, I like to 
take a look at often at the conservative website Drudge Report. NSA spy scrapers across USA revealed. Let's take a look at that. The secrets are hidden behind fortified walls in cities across the United States inside towering windowless skyscrapers, skyscrapers and fortress-like concrete structures that were built to withstand earthquakes. Uh, thousands of people pass by the buildings each day and rarely give them a second glance because their function is not publicly known. They are an integral part of one of the world's largest telecommunications network, and they are also linked to the controversial National Security Agency Surveillance Program. Uh, the Intercept has, identi has identified an AT&T facility containing networking equipment that transports large quantities of Internet traffic across the United States and the world. A body of evidence, including classified NSA documents, public records, and interviews with several former AT&T employees, indicates that the buildings are central to an NSA spying initiative. It has for years monitored billions of emails, phone calls, and online chats passing across U.S. territory. Elsewhere in the news, uh, let's see, California considers creating fake news advisory group to monitor media. Um, FDA approves first marijuana med, uh, first marijuana medicine made from, first medicine made from marijuana, and which one is that? That is Epidiolex. The Food and Drug Administration on Monday approved the country's first drug derived from marijuana, a medication that treats two rare and devastating forms of epilepsy. So this is the GW Pharmaceuticals Pidiolex. Um, and so that is interesting. Um, it is sh was shown to reduce the number of seizures by about 40% in patients with Dravet or Lennox Gestalt syndromes. This ex uh, decision was expected. GW CEO Justin Gover said in a statement, these patients deserve and will soon have access to a cannabinoid medicine that has been thoroughly studied in clinical trials, manufactured to assure quality and consistency and available by prescription under a physician's care. All right, so that's interesting. Beyond that, um, not a whole lot going on here in the news today. So um, we'll see if the markets really do take a breather. Um, the uh, VIX is currently down 47 cents, trading 16.86, with front month futures trading 16, second month futures trading 16.05. So we are just basically flat to slightly back in contango here today. Uh, I did kind of tweet out online my position was that i i rolled from my december 9 puts into something that was of a higher short delta i eventually got to uh the august 12 puts so um now i'm long august 12 puts instead of d's nine so higher delta i'm sorry Bigger short delta, I should say. Uh, less time to expiration, so uh, more risky. But um, I figured warranted based on the spike we had yesterday. I want to make more money on the way down than I lost on the way up. And that's kind of the strategy there. I, I'm interested to hear how other people did yesterday. This is trading stuff, which we like. Um, I'm sorry, what I mean is that this is a trading environment that we like. Stuff's moving around. There's uh, stuff happening. Um, let's see. And Seth Golden, thanks for watching today. Uh, sounds like you made a little dough yesterday, which is always nice to hear. I love when my buddies do well. Congratulations. Uh, check out Seth's uh, phenomgroup.com for... Uh, insightful commentary on the markets and the VIX plus other aspects of the markets. Uh, Seth does a great job. He's one of the best people in the world at analyzing um, and reports and uh, other data points from companies and deciphering what all that stuff means. That's an area of the world that I am completely lost in. So I always 
Uh, I'm amazed how Seth is able to distill these things down to meaningful content. Uh, check him out also on Seeking Alpha and uh, Talking Trading, I think it is it's called, uh, other website of uh, which he publishes articles on, uh, as well as his own website, which I just mentioned. Um, the VIX today, VVIX was up a lot yesterday, up to 114.32. That is a, uh, a indicator that a lot of people use. Um, that's a pretty high number there. Uh, during the Vomageddon, uh, it did get up. I think it got up to either like the 170s or 200 at one point. But um, that the VVIX tells us uh, about options prices in the actual VIX. So the VIX has options on it on the futures by month. And uh, the VVIX is a measure of the uh, the price uh, volatility of those options on the VIX. And um, as a general rule of thumb, anything over 100 is considered elevated. Um, and so it's... Uh, good to watch that as the day goes forward. Now let's take a look at um, the VIX term structure. And for that, I like to go to VIX central. Now um, we can see immediately that spot is uh, higher than uh, over half the futures here. So that is a indicator that we uh, definitely did have a spike yesterday. Um, Let's get rid of my mug there for a second so that we can see this a little bit better. So how's that? That's a little bit better, but hold on. Let me see if I can just widen that out, make this a little smaller maybe, and fit the screen. There we go. So, um, and it's showing us slightly in back in contango again remember this is delayed by like 40 minutes but definitely still on the spike when i see the term structure like this it you what usually happens from this position is is that the spot moves lower to go below all the futures that's usually the anticipation if futures guys thought spot wasn't going to go lower then this curve would be curving up the Ju july future would be curving up to meet spot and since it's not curving up to meet spot I believe that it's anticipated that spot is going to head below 16 at some point fairly soon. Um, and then let's take a look at um, barchart.com for a second and see what Nick has to say and what numbers we have out today. He says trade threat rattles market. Trade threats rattle markets. And... Um, U.S. dollar. Now, most of, this is from 4 a.m. U.S. dollar. Uh, U.S. dollar is up 94. Energies. Crude oil is up, trading 68.31. Financials. Sep. 30-year bond is down 10 ticks. Gold is down. So he says this is not a correlated market. Uh, so we have S&P CS composite. 20 HPI is out at 9 a.m. This is major. CB consumer confidence is out at 10 a.m. This is major. Richmond manufacturing index is out at 10 a.m. as well. And FOMC member Bostic speaks at 1 p.m., which is also major. Uh, it says, yesterday we gave the markets a downside bias as the U.S. dollar and bonds were both trading higher, and this usually represents a downside day. The markets didn't disappoint as Dow fell 328 points and the other indices lost ground as well. Today, we aren't dealing with a correlated market and our bias is neutral. And this is my favorite part of every broadcast that Nick does. Could this change? Of course. Remember, anything is can happen in a volatile market. And indeed, we do remember anything can happen in a volatile market. And uh, at this moment, uh, Dow futures have dipped to the negative territory just barely with E-minis up 0.75 and the NASDAQ up 13. It appears that if we are going to rally today, the NASDAQ will lead us into that rally. But in the absence of anything happening, expect the air to come out of this balloon a little bit because uh, we did get a big move up in volatility yesterday. So even an unch day should... Uh, bring vol back in again because remember uh 
uh, daily average realized volatility, what they do is they take the average of each day and put them together. So when you've got a big spike like yesterday, the average goes way up. If you've got today, nothing happens, tomorrow, nothing happens, all of a sudden that average number is going to go way back, back down again real quick. So when you've got nothing going on, that's going to tend to suck the uh, air out of the balloon as far as volatility is concerned. So uh, interesting to see what happens coming into the market today. It's currently 9 a.m. Uh, on the east coast of the United States, uh, and I am joining you from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, home of the Pilgrims, and uh, we are sponsored today by Gorilla Trades. Check out Gorilla Trades. Um, they've got uh, suggested stocks, and the way it works is that they will... Um, suggest a stock, um, and then you have to wait for it to trigger. And once it triggers, uh, that's the time that they suggest that you buy it. And they have a great track record of picking awesome stocks. Um, the uh, There is actually a gorilla from Gorilla Trades who is a guy who um, he, he made a ton of money uh, – picking stocks started out as a kid picking stocks and he it's something like he turned 200 grand into 5 million in a year or something crazy like that uh but definitely uh use his talent to help you make money that's my suggestion gorilla trades also has awesome emails every day that come out and tell you the stuff like i just told you about like what numbers came out what do they mean and uh what's going on in the market today remember every morning when you wake up and uh, you want to ask yourself, what's the theme today? What's going on? Today? What's the theme? You know, some days the theme is like, oh, it's immigration and Trump versus whoever. Or, or today we're talking about um, a riot somewhere or there's always a theme that's going on. Oh, today's Apple earnings. Uh, you want to figure out what the theme is of the day. And, you know, is it is it stuff going crazy today? Is it a calm day? What's going on? And um, and then you can trade appropriately. Uh, and, and a great way to get some of the themes and what's going on, especially if you're not like surrounded by people that are talking about stuff. There, you know, a lot of people uh, are not. They don't have a uh, like a work environment where with the water cooler and all that, where everybody's talking about stuff. They might you might be home alone and sitting in front of your computer, and you need you need to try to get into what the theme is of things and something like Gorilla Trades can really help you do that because they've got their uh, ear to what's going on and they send emails all the time about what's going on, what the tone of the market is, that sort of thing. Um, let me just show you for a second here. I can, I'll pull up my emails for a second and show you the kind of stuff that they uh, they send me every day. So here is something from yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon, J June 25th at 5.57 p.m. Okay, so they're going to give their their um, different status of the different uh, stock predictions they have going on. Let me get my mug out of the way here. Um And then it's going to have maybe some highlighted stocks, um, what their, um, where the, their different recommendations stand. And here's like a, the market commentary. The market indices dropped, you know, paragraphs and paragraphs of commentary. This, you know, this takes a while to put this together. And there are several emails like this every day. So this is a really valuable service. Um, it really can help you get a sense of the tone. They they always have these great quotes of the day. Let's see what the quote of the day is today. In the words of Buddha, thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. Oh, there you go. So there you have it. All right. Um, so... Um, Let's see what happens. Now everything's green right now as far as major indices and uh, UVXY indicated down 70 cents. So I am just naked long these puts. I was going to sell some 12 puts against them in the front week. 
for like 35 cents, but I'm kind of glad I didn't now with the, with this down 70 cents because those uh, puts would not have fared well overnight. So, um, you know, I'm worried about my decay every day, and so I want to do something against it, but you kind of have to pick your points here because with UVXY up a couple bucks yesterday, it can if it goes back to where it came from, it'll be back down a couple bucks today. So I want to be aware of that, and I don't want to be too quick to sell you know, cheapo puts for 20 cents or 40 cents or something, because those can easily blow up in my face, which would defeat, you know, they would offset the the profitability of getting a short delta yesterday. So um, it's kind of a trading thing. We'll see what happens. Um, it would be great for me if UVXY would dip back down to say 11, but we'll, that remains to be seen. Anyways, um, thank you everybody for coming and watching today and i will see you next time on the short vol show tomorrow morning